Alright guys, today I'm going to talk about speeding ticket or no, nah, or no. Nah. So, I'm going to explain to you a story in a second. just want to talk about, if you watched my video, my past video, I was talking about karma. And I don't mean karma, karma, I mean literally karma. Good thing, if you do good things, good things will happen to you. And this is kind of finishing my story. I want to say, just wanted to talk about this as well. So... On my way to Nashville, what's this? let me let me let me explain the story real quick. So we stopped at St. Augustine. We visited a couple of places like the Fountain of Youth, um, you know, those little just little tourist places. And we decided to stop by for like about a couple hours. We actually stayed the night because we arrived there around I think four or five in the morning. So we wanted to get some rest before heading to Nashville and check out um, St. Augustine a little bit. So we checked out some stuff. We left around three four o'clock and. You know, it's a long drive from St. Augustine. I thought it was going to be like, let's say, eight hours, seven hours. I'm like, there's no way. But then I realized we didn't even go up that much to, you know, head to Nashville. We just, it was kind of like a detour. Like, we kind of went on the way to Nashville, but it was like two hours less, you can say. So then when I look at the time, it, I, I believe it was a 10-hour drive from St. Augustine to Nashville. And I was like, Jesus Christ. So we left around uh four i'll say three four in the afternoon and we actually ended up getting at nashville at like two two in the morning two two thirty in the morning so it was a pretty cool road trip you know had lots of fun but on my way to nashville we were splitting time uh maria my fiance drove about an hour or two she doesn't like driving in the dark i don't want to risk it i rather drive and my friend joel who came with me he drove and he drove St. Augustine, so he drove to St. Augustine, which was about a five-hour drive from Miami, four or five-hour drive, and he drove us around when we were at St. Augustine. So then Maria picked it up on the way to Nashville for about an hour and a half or two, I think it was two hours, and it was starting to get dark, so it was around six, seven o'clock, and I was like, all right, I'll pick, I'll pick it up, and I ended up driving for like seven, almost eight hours in a row, and I was like, I'll just do it the whole way, whatever, I'm already doing it, might as well just finish it. And I love listening to music while I'm driving. You know, that was the one thing that helped me stay, like, focused and kind of entertained, man. Music is life. Music is love. Music is everything. I love listening to music when I'm working out, when I'm, let's say, if I'm cleaning my room, whatever it is, man. Music is the best thing ever. Sorry, I got a little, a little off topic, but I just had to say that. So, on my way to Nashville, I, I was driving for about an hour, an hour and a half. And I started talking to, so I started talking to Carr, and I started talking in the car about, I wanted to talk about like stories or something. And I brought up the topic paranormal, paranormal activity, basically saying, has anything ever happened to one of them? And I was talking about my experiences. And I guess I could say one right now since I'm talking about it either way. So I don't know if you see my door right there, that door. It was a night, you know, no one's home. It was me and my friend. And... I like working out, you know, I'm a pretty fit guy, I love working out, and I was working out, and I had the little, if you know, you guys know the pull-up bar you put up on the door, well, you put the pull-up bar on the floor, and it kind of holds your weight, so as you're going up, it holds your weight, and I put it right there, and it was, all, and all the lights were off in the house, the only light that was on was in here, there was nobody home, I said, me and my friend, we were both in a room, and then I was doing, you know, pull-ups, uh, pull sit-ups, and as I'm doing sit-ups, you know, I'm like into it, I'm, I'm doing good. And every and every so and so and now like every here and there, I would look to my left down the hallway, you know, just like looking a little bit to the left. I don't see nothing. I look to the left. Oh shit! I just got I got a mini heart attack. You know, I saw a a figure. I don't know if it's still in my house. God bless me, save me from this. I don't know what's happening here. I'm I'm safe. I feel like I feel pretty safe right now, but it was a. Uh, a black shadow figure, you know, like a human figure, and I swear to God, I saw something. It was not my head playing tricks. I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm not super superstitious. Like I don't believe in it too much, but I do kind of in the back of my head, cause stuff have happened to me in the past. So I, I, I shit bricks. I was shitting bricks. You know, bricks were falling all over the pay, all over the tiles, and from that moment on. I don't know what happened. I think I, I literally pulled the bar inside the room, you know, even though like I got, sh I got kind of scared. I still, you know, I continue my workout because that's what men do. You do, you finish your workout no matter what. So that happened. And all right. So now back to topic. <laughs> so I was driving 
and I was going out, you know, I was talking, I was telling them story and everything. We're just getting really into it. And sometimes when I'm like, just, I'm pressing down the pedal, I don't realize that I'm, I'm like, I'm going faster, faster, faster. And without realizing, you know, I hit a hundred, you know, this is a 70, I really speed limit was 70 miles per hour. And I ended up hitting a hundred. I, I started to slow down, I guess. And I, I mean, I like going fast when I'm going traveling for about eight hours. So like, I love, you know, hitting it fast. A hundred isn't, I would love to go hundred through the whole time just to get to my destination faster. But, you know, I started to slow down a little bit without even noticing it. Cause I, I, I felt like I was letting go when I was talking a story and I, out of nowhere, you see the lights, you see the lights in the back, you know, you look in the rear view mirror, you see, you see all the, these blue and red lights. I'm like, bruh. I'm so done for. So I realized that and I start to slow down. I pull over and the cop said he caught me when I was going 94 miles per hour. So I even though I was kind of like shitting bricks once again, I stayed calm. You know, I, I respectfully answered all his questions, didn't hesitate. Whatever he asked, I gave it to him. And, you know, just did all of the stuff you want to do when someone pulls you over. That's your best luck. So I did all that stuff. And he was talking to me, you know, saying how it's a $500 fine for speeding over the limit and a $300 extra fine for being out of state because I was, I think at the moment I was in Georgia, I was no longer in Florida. So I was like, oh shit. I'm like, I told him straight up, like, he's like, what happened? I told him, like, I was telling, I was talking to them, which my fiance, my, my friend, and I just, I wasn't paying attention. And I, I told him straight up, I'm like, it's my fault. So moments later, like he walks to his car, his police car, and then I'm just there like waiting patiently, see what's going to happen. And, you know, Maria and my friend are just sitting there like, huh, this can end up pretty bad. And, you know, deep inside, I felt like this is going to go, it's going to be, everything's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. <sighs> well, next thing I know, he actually let me, let me loose. You know, he said, you're, you're good to go. Just be careful. I was pretty happy. I was like, damn, I just dodged a bullet. You know, from there on, I was driving about because he told me, he told me if I'm playing highest I can go, I should go is 85. Try not to go any higher than that. And speed limit is 80. So like at 85, I'm, I mean, speed limit was 70. So 85, I was like, all right, that's fine to me. And I was basically going 85. I went 90 maybe for a little bit, but I would always slow down. You know, I was not risking getting that ticket or getting a speeding ticket. So I was always going like 80, 85 usually around there and you know thank god i mean like i said earlier in my my video before i'll link it down below if you guys want to watch it but karma i feel like you do good things good things usually end up happening to you you always got to believe in you always got to be nice to people and always like i don't know man just love live laugh and be happy those are the main important things in life that i think so i ended up not getting a speeding ticket i was really close and the funny part, on the way back, I was driving pretty fast. But, 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 I was being really careful, and I was looking for cops. Because I was not getting a speeding ticket again. So, everything went out good, guys. Uh, I just wanted to share the story to you. Share the story with you. Because this is my experiences at Nashville. You know, it was kind of like a small road trip. I just wanted to, like, kind of share what happened over there. And we won. So... I don't know, ever since lately when we went to Nashville, it's all been positive, good vibes. Nothing really bad has happened. So I'm happy for that, thankful for that, for that. Thankful to God, thankful to life, thankful to me, people, everything. So I hope you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.